Ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to be showing you what in my opinion is the best melee weapon in the game. I think it's better than the Power Fist that does better damage each time, which I can't remember the name of, but uh, it is called Krems Blade, and yes, I am almost definitely mispronouncing that. But uh, where you're going to want to go is to the Dunwich Borer Borers. I don't actually know if that's how you say that either. Uh, pronunciation is a hard thing. But uh, it's kind of northeast of Diamond City and pretty much straight east from Sanctuary in the Red Rocket. All the way to the right of the map. And first thing you're going to do is kill everybody. Then you're going to want to slowly walk down. Or if you're on PC, instead of being a scrub, you could just turn on God Mode and jump all the way down. Because why, why would you walk when you could just jump? It's so much simpler. But uh, you're going to follow my path pretty much exactly to the dot. I went straight there, luckily. I didn't have to go back and re-record the whole damn thing. But uh, you're going to have to kill a bunch of raiders as soon as you get in, and a bunch of ghouls all the way through. Um, is it just me, or am I the only one who kills the fucking turrets before you find the console that turns them off? And then I turn them off anyway. It doesn't make any sense. But I do it. But uh, yeah, it's pretty, I'd say it's a pretty long trip all the way down, and uh, there are a shit fucking shitload of ghouls once you get past these uh, main raiders. Also, there's a person with a name down there. I think there might be a quest here, but I, I don't know what it is. Uh, if anybody knows, leave that down in the comments. But uh, get that magazine, it's important. Um, if you followed me so far, you're going to see that there are oil spots on the ground. I didn't know how to trigger these. I just knew that they would light on fire somehow because of Skyrim and it's Bethesda and they're the same makers. So obviously, it's going to catch fire. Turns out one bullet does it. But uh, here's your first flashback on the way down. There's a bit of backstory to the Dunwich stuff, as there always is. There was in Fallout 3 as well. Uh, but it doesn't really explain it. Look at my main man do a front flip. I left that in just because I thought it was hilarious. He did a perfect front flip. But uh, continue, turn all the lights on. And uh, you might notice that I have seen like eight legendaries in here. That is not going to happen for you, I promise. I have mine turned on ten times more so I can get a bunch of awesome stuff. And hint, hint, I do. Uh, just up in a second after this second and final flashback, I get a weapon that I didn't really know existed and I might do an update video on. But uh, more fire. Boom. Testing my theory. Learned. It, uh, it is just one bullet. At least from this gun. I don't know if it's from any gun. That doesn't matter. Here's your second flashback. This one is going to be showing him making some kind of sacrifice with a bunch of people. I don't know who him is. Um, I didn't find the, the hollow tapes. There's one on the console in the room before and one on one of these dead people. Um, so I wasn't really paying attention to that. But if you're curious about backstory that's on all the terminals, it's everywhere. Um, Bob Stanson is my main man. That legendary guy gave me this, which is amazing. Unlimited ammo capacity. I did test it. It doesn't mean it never runs out of ammo. It just means you never have to reload. So I'm going to make that automatic and give myself an absurd amount of energy cells and just go ham because I think it'd be funny. But uh, once you get to this part, you're going to jump in the water. All the way down is where I thought you would go, but then there's a little hole in the wall and you're going to go in there and you're going to see a little altar with two cats, uh, which are actually mini nukes. But I have a, <laughs> a retexture for my fat man, so it's not really a mini nuke. Um, turns out that means that you can't make it up. Uh, pick it up, sorry. But uh, yeah, so here's Krem's Tooth, and uh, it does bleed damage and poison damage, and uh, exceptional damage. And it says exceptional damage, which is a bit weird. That's because it's a mod. It's an upgrade version of Machete. You can take this off, and if you found a legendary Machete, you can put this mod on there, and it'll do some crazy fucking damage. But uh, for just being a mod, this is definitely, in my opinion, the best melee weapon. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you killing a bunch of people and then leave you to the video. But uh, if you guys enjoyed, I hope to see you in the next one. And I hope that uh, you can find this weapon and put it on, hopefully, a legendary machete. So, I will see you guys in the next video.
Oh, and watch out for this dumb box that throws a grenade at you. Alright, see you in the next video.